everyone, today's tutorial is a makeup inspired by a porcupine. I will also have a quick run through on how I made the quills, so stick around. First I took some foam clay and rolled out my quills in different lengths and carefully put them aside to dry. Once they were ready, I would cut them at an angle and hot glue them to some fabric netting and added some stripes with Skin Illustrator. Then onto the makeup. Glue down those eyebrows, apply a latex bald cap with some prosate adhesive, and taking Mayron Paradise paint in white and apply a base. Back to the Mayron palette using the light brown, put it in an airbrush and add some contouring. Also some noodling texture on the top of the head and the body. Took the dark brown and also airbrushed that. Deepening some of the light brown areas. Painting this very blotchy so it adds more texture. And I also added a lot of spots and soft freckling. Taking the Skin Illustrator Grunge Palette, use Dark Brune to lightly spatter over everything. Concentrating it in the shadow areas, also adding tinier little freckles. Use the Collective Cosmetics Eyeshadow Color Abyss, carve out the inner area of the eye and up to the forehead. Jump back to the airbrush with Mayron Edge in black, darken the contour, and create another layer of spotting over the brown. And spatter some of the black Mayron over the spots. Apply some Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Then thanks to my short attention span, I jumped over to doing the bands around the arms and the neck using Dark Brune Illustrator. Back to the eyes. Taking the Collective Cosmetics Renaissance Medalla Effect Palette using the shade Martyr in the crease and lower lash line. Followed by Black Hole out of that same palette. And with that palette again, use the sand color to blend out the edges of the martyr shade. With KVD Vegan Beauty Locket Concealer in white out, create a cut crease. Then press some Collective Cosmetics sand shade on top. Now fill in the lips with NYX Cosmetics Liquid Suede in Alien. Extending the upper lip corners for a more dramatic look. Use Mayron Edge in white to add a line detail across the cut crease. Apply some Prosade for the quill pieces and carefully lay down the netting. Then took a little powder to make sure the edges were down and got rid of any shine. Take the Skin Illustrator Dark Brune and add some more freckles before putting in the scleras. Color in the waterline with NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Then using ColourPop Mascara in White Little Lie. Use NYX Glitter Primer around the white liner and added some Midnight Glitter from Glitter by Gemstone Magic. Also pressed some glitter onto my lips and added the quills on the collarbone. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.